<clears throat> That's right, I remember what it was. So the people I was talking to, one of them was saying, well, the adult ones that have been rehabilitated and they're supposedly the cool ones that these troubled kids and youth listen to, um, and now they're becoming leaders like in the community and stuff, like, but they're still repping toxic stuff in their <laughs> in their mind. Um the hip hop that still talks about negative things, um and stuff like that. What they were saying was, um they're still leading the kids astray because they're still repping some of that negative stuff that they feel got them there in the first place, even though now they're older, more mature, you know, higher age, you know, 30s, 40s, 50s, but they're still kind of clinging to that negative stuff. So the kids still think they're the cool people, the cool mentors, the cool elders, and they're they're still picking up on that part, even though those people change their lives and, and are trying to teach and say don't go that way but yet part of the they feel that part of their personality is um still kind of pointing towards go that way so what they're saying is um i said so i'm processing that because that's it's good to hear that frame of thought because it's good to know that's what people think i'm, I'm not really sure uh i mean i see that it could be true and it could not be true like in the same a couple different I kind of see the truth in both sides of it so um so then I say then I realize like in psychology and um I guess you know in the medical field uh well mostly the psychology field somebody that a lot of times when people experience trauma they're part of their mind stays in that stage. So you might be dealing, you might think you're dealing with somebody in their 30s or 40s, but they're still in a way in their heart or in some part of their being, they're still that young child that was abused. They never, you, you kind of stop growing at that point. And a lot of people, I don't know if it's everybody, I actually should look this up and research this, but it's my understanding that a lot of people are frozen in that age where they experienced um, that really strong trauma, or that really traumatizing event in their life or events. Um, so what I'm trying to say this is the people that didn't have those experiences and didn't go through those type of traumatizing things, you might have, your whole being might have matured up to 40, 50, 60, 70, you know, but some of these people are still children in adult bodies. They're still children um, who need healing in that aspect. And they're, and they're walking around looking 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. But really, they're still that little broken child that uh, was around this traumatic event or that traumatic event or um, was a, a victim uh, in one of those traumatic events or a uh, witness to um, traumatic events that... so. What I why am I telling you this? Well, because that matters. Because if that person is right in what they said, um, regarding these these older mentors that came in then, uh, and they're and they're helping the youth and they're like the cool guys and they still have like they're still caught up in that culture that that person felt is a negative culture that's leading them astray, then a wholesome compared to a wholesome you know, engineer or, you know, lawyer or, uh, some other kind of doctor, you know, whatever the, like somebody that's, uh, more wholesome and doesn't listen to hip hop or death metal or something that's like, has a negative connotation that, um, their mind is, is more healthy where these people are still, you know, so, but I think that has something to do with it. I think then I told him, well, that's when you have to help. That's when these wholesome, healthy people, they need to help the middle people that, that you're talking about because they never really healed that inner child maybe. And that's why they're still like about this and that. Like, so now 
you might not be able because the children might and the youth might not be able to receive from you because they're not they're not used to that bright shiny light wholesome healthy they're not used to that because they come from dysfunction brokenness uh the agenda from the part of the music industry only signing people that well you need to talk about this and this and that to keep people oppressed um gun violence uh sexism um <clears throat> promiscuity fighting you know violence all that um cars and and stealing and uh all the you know all the negative things that it can sometimes rep <clears throat> and uh so if you if the middle people that just been um that been there but they became they change and they want to make sure that the youth change is still here so maybe your part would be because these people can't relate to you, these troubled people and everything, but they can relate to the middle people. So if you have a problem with the middle people and you think they're not fully given the this one the light and the health and the and the and the type of image and, and mentorship that you think they should, then maybe you should work with them middle people. Maybe you should help them come all the way over to uh to what you think is healthy and wholesome and whole. Like because you gotta remember they were coming from that as well so they're still just because they're older doesn't mean it's a hundred percent completely cured from uh unhealthy life and you have to understand that type of music it's also there's more to it than um bad, like negative lyrics there's a lot of good lyrics too there's a lot of good uh lyrics and and in, in a lot of it it's stories it tells stories of people's experience yeah some of it is trash and it is negative and it's not healthy and you could be putting a uh like a hex on on whoever's listening to it um we're speaking it into you know you're putting kind of like negative things into your heart um by listening to it yeah i get that but there's also you have to understand that when it came where it came from um it wasn't always negative and it and there's other things to it that people like people like the beat people like the drum beat um there's another side to it if you don't even have lyrics like the music side to it that um you know you don't just want to brush it off altogether i mean you would have to get rid of a whole subculture that formed and developed back when it started um you would have to help that whole culture because they they needed it it merged they needed a they needed a representation or a representation needed a group of people and they clicked together and that was for them and that was for them and there they are and there they go. This is our this is our voice. This is our uh, these are our creative voices um in arts and culture. So what what else do you suggest that would be a representation of these people's lives? How you, you you're just going to represent wholesome you know a different whole type of different genre of music that doesn't speak to their life that doesn't speak to their experience or could we help with their life and help with their experience so on their new genre that you think is better that would be created would be more healthy and positive and of light and light things instead of dark things and um tragedies something to think about i know it's like deep deep thought but you have to you have to break down and um what, what uh you have to break it down and uh dissect it so that's my talk for today have a great one bye